Hello everyone! For the ones that don't know me, I am Elizabeth, the creator of Miss Crafty Soap. So here I, I am here today to show you a soap um, that started with the game um, created by B from Sorcery Soap. So she challenged us to send a few little world, worlds made with soap though, okay? So I was lucky to have Lisa contacting me, uh, Lisa from I Dream in Soap. So these were the little, the little worlds that she sent me. Okay, so and with these I had to create a soap. So if you're not familiar with soap though, B has like a big, she's full of information on this matter. I, have, I purchased her two books, these two. Now she's re, she reinvented them with beautiful photos she's awesome in photography also so if you want to know more about soap though look for these ones purchase them they are really really worth so they're gonna like save you a lot of time in mistakes to be honest so yes and then that's how this happened because i am in her group she has a wonderful facebook group if you want to learn on soap though and so this all started here this is my vision of the world be soap. So we could do our own way. There were there was no limitations. Just use the little worlds that the person sent to you. Um, once again, Lisa sent me hers. She is she does an amazing job. She is like an excellent soap maker. You should look for her on I Dream I Dream in Soap. She has a YouTube channel, she explains everything super detailed. There's no way of missing something with that. It's there, like perfect, spot on. So I hope you like my soap. It's all inspired around crystals because I am creating a collection of soaps inspired by crystals and uh, chakras. And so I hope you like it. Uh, let's get some soap done. Okay, so... You, I'm gonna start showing you what I am doing. So I will be doing my embeds with Melt and Pour. Um, I am using these purple ones that I have done before. They are of a bigger size, but I want to use them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut it like this. And then because I want them to be a very small size okay I am just cutting so you don't want any of the corners to be like perfect they need to be in a different shape if you can see so I have the purple ones here, okay, and then I have just melted a bit of uh, melting pour and uh, a mixed in a um, tiny spoon of blue mica inside a um, plastic cup. And then I just took it off so you can see the shape. So what I do is this, I cut it in. All of those were end, they were all end cut. Now, I don't want to mix in the colors because I'm going to use all these bits at, after all. So, cut it like this and then just the top. Then I don't know if you can see here, you just cut in the shape like this. You don't want them to be perfect because in nature they are not perfect as well and still they are super pretty. Okay, so I have quite a few of these here already because I've been cutting this all day now. Okay, this was just to, sh to show you how I managed to cut them with a thin knife and that's it. Now I'm going to show you the other bit. So these are the little worlds that Lisa sent me. Okay from I Dream Soap. 
here they are she sent me 14 but usually because she was scared she was afraid that they wouldn't be here perfect so she was super sweet and sent me 14 but I'm gonna use nine um, so they're here okay and these are my molds this was this this was made with um, some from a, um, a crystal collection that my mom has uh, so I took a few of her and I was just copying the shape and I did my mold so I took this bit of the stone and this is already melt and put in bed I'm going to show you how I do this so just a second bear with me I will be probably having one ready already so this is the real crystal this is for my mom so I just bought this um, how do you see is it called mold mold putty I think I will leave the, the link down below for you to to see so this is what I did what I did I choose the bit that I enjoyed the most I just this is very easy to deal with it's a bit expensive I have to be honest but um, if you want a quick solution it's perfect so I just did around here I waited like half an hour 20 minutes so and I took it off and here it is so what I do is I am just with a brush I am putting some mica with these colors okay then I melt and melt the soap the, the melting pour ba base and I'll put it in here and it goes straight into the freezer like for 10 minutes or so while I'm doing other, other stuff I will be doing this just going to show you how so this is what I do with a brush and I want the purple on this side And then the blue one. You need to dip in right on those cavities because if not it will be clear. And it works for a few other designs that I'm planning, that I'm doing already uh, with the clear. Yes, but not on this one because I want the colors perfect here. Okay, then I'll stick this up there. I'll try to arrange a way that it stays all in the position that you want leak adding the stones here okay and then I'm gonna just pour carefully into my mold and spritz it spritz spritz a little bit but it's okay I will need two more of this because I have already seven straight into the freezer so as you can see here I have already one two three four five six seven I need nine I'm gonna just take this out of here okay so I'll be just dividing my butter in three different parts now I will be mixing the purple it will be my first color to add in now I'm gonna add in a little bit of my fragrance okay just a little bit like this. Okay. Yep, it's already feeling thick, and that's what I want. That's exactly exactly what I want. Oh. 
want it to be like a texturized shape in here because now what I'll be doing is I want to I hope this works I want to add melting pool lines not micro lines I want to add melting pool lines and so that's why these need to be thick because now I want to melt to head in the melting pool and I want it to stay with this shape so let's see how it goes heat up some melting pool this is clear melting pool SLS free okay I will also leave the link down below I buy this from Silk Rochefort. I love it. I'm super happy with it. So in here, because this is the first time I'm doing it, I don't know <laughs> how much I'm going to be needing. So this is going to be like try and error. I wish I could just manage things like Lisa. She's so perfectionist. She's absolutely, her work is amazing, but I'm not. So I'm going to do this and see how it works. I will be adding this glitter here, okay, this echo glitter, okay, this is from Easy Colors, bio glitter, that's important to know, to say, uh, alcohol, and now, yeah, it's good enough, really good. Very good. I want to blend in all this beautiful shiny stuff and now I'm just gonna wait a bit I don't know if you can see so I want a shimmery a glittery melting pool line <laughs> probably I must be crazy by the way um let me see this will work Oh, I think it will work. I need to add in a tiny bit more because I would like it to cover all the purple bit or almost all of it. Ooh, I like it. I don't know if you can see. So it's sort of Staying like my florid, uh, florid um, slab soap that I did a video about it before. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Because I will be adding the blue color. It's already set. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's go for the blue then.
this one I want to add in a little bit less in glitter, a little bit less of glitter. We want it to be so glittery, just a little bit. I just hope this turns out how am I how I am imagining it in my head. <laughs> Honestly, because if it does, it's gonna look amazing. This is my titanium dioxide. I'm gonna be mixing it. Okay, so there we go. anymore okay so I need to do this carefully now because I don't want to break any of the melting pour layer but also, I don't want any air bubbles in the middle, so I'm doing this very carefully. And now, I want to work, I want to do some high bait over this side. So, voila. Just giving a gold covering in all of this, just at the top. Let's start working this top. Okay, so let me just put it here so I can see where the world will go. And let's start working. One, two, Hold on, little flower. Come on. You'll be fine. So now I have just mixed in some, 
some blue and purple and I have just that in some brushed gold mica like this just not perfect just mixed around and now it's the, the, the hard part for me because I was trying to manage and I don't think these beauties will go all they will fit inside the mold if I put them all the way through I am pretty damn sure yep this don't work doesn't work so I'm gonna work away this one I'm gonna cut a little bit like this. And add it. Yep. And that's it. And now let's stick this around. Okay, and the soap is done. I want this soap to scream peace, to scream unity, to scream love, to scream for a better world. And honestly, share, share knowledge, share love, and everything will be okay it's absolutely stunning i'm in love with it and let's wait for the cut and i just hope you like it as much as i do i'm really happy with it